Hi Big Tractor Power fans, in this video we're going to spend some time out in a western Kentucky field with a fleet of John Deere 9420R four-wheel drive tractors and Kinsey corn planters as they put a new crop of corn in the ground. It's always exciting to be around this big machinery and see it at work and that's what we're going to spend most of the time in this video doing is just watching and hearing this machinery as it puts the new corn crop out. And I'll talk a little bit about what these machines are doing at different segments and also take this opportunity to answer some questions that have come up in previous corn planting videos shared here on Big Tractor Power YouTube. Again, I hope that you'll enjoy seeing all this big equipment. We're also going to watch the planters get refilled with starter fertilizer, corn seed, and spend some time up in the cab of one of these John Deere 9420Rs so you can see what it's like to be behind the steering wheel of a big 420 horsepower tractor with a 60 foot wide corn planter planting 24 rows of corn behind it. So let's head out to the field and watch this Kinsey 3700 24 row planter and John Deere 9420R get to work and put the first seeds of the year in the ground. As the Kinsey planter finishes moving from transport position into corn planting mode, I want to take a minute to answer the number one question that comes up in big tractor power corn planting videos at this time of year in mid-March and undoubtedly will be posted in the comment section below of this video. Why in the world are they planting corn in the middle of March? Where I live, you're going to say, we never plant until April 15th. Or, my dad says never plant until May 10th. There's snow on the ground here. It's frozen. It's wet. It's cold. Well, here in western Kentucky, the climate allows for corn planting earlier in the year. It's warmed up. It is about 77 degrees on the day that this video was filmed. And it's just time to plant corn. The corn growing season allows for early planting and then early harvesting. The corn you see being planted in this video will be harvested around August 20th and then a crop of winter wheat will be planted over all of this corn ground in early October. So it's just the natural crop rotation and that's why they're planting corn in the middle of March. As the tractor and planter head out into the field to start putting the first seeds in the ground, it will plant a perimeter around the field in a square called the headland and that gives the tractor and planter and the harvesting combines a place to turn around as they go back and forth. They put a 120 foot border around the field. Another four wheel drive and 60 foot wide planter have already made the first pass around the field and this one is following in line behind it. Many viewers often ask why this farm utilizes a 420 horsepower articulated tractor to pull the corn planter when a front wheel assist row crop tractor could easily do the job. The reason is, is this is a year round tractor on the farm and the farm doesn't really have a good use for a front wheel assist tractor year round. Round. This tractor during corn planting holds two 300 gallon saddle tanks. Those are the yellow tanks on front of the tractor. They hold starter fertilizer that is put down with the corn seed. During harvest season, the tractor is hooked up to a thousand bushel Kinsey grain cart and having that extra power and pull to haul the grain across the field and having the visibility from the cab as you pull up to the semi truck to see where you're unloading is very handy. And then in the fall, the tractor is hooked up to a three point mounted seven shank V ripper that runs 18 inches in the ground. And having that 420 horsepower up front for tillage is very handy. So overall, it's a good year round tractor doing many jobs and covering many acres on this farm. So let's Get back out to the field and see this tractor go to work planting the first corn seeds of the new year. We've been watching the first tractor and planter that entered the field follow the fence line on the edge of the field, planting that very first pass. And then the tractor that we watched earlier drive in and unfold is following right behind, making that second square around the field, establishing the 120 foot headland. You'll notice that this Kinsey planter has its marker arm out. That's the large steel arm with the disc blade on the end of it. And the marker arm simply leaves a mark in the field, plowing a very small furrow 
30, 40, 50 years ago, the marker arm was an important part of the planter. It would leave that small trench for the tractor to turn around and the operator to actually have a line of sight to follow through the field so you were planting straight rows of corn that followed one after another. Today with GPS, satellites, and auto guidance, the marker arm really isn't a necessary part of the planter. This farm still likes to use the marker arm to establish that initial line of sight as they're planting the square around the field. As soon as that first square is planted, the marker arm is gonna come up and not be used again until they start planting the next field of corn. And you'll see that second tractor that's planting the headland follow right along that mark and just make sure that they're planting along a straight line. GPS is very handy, but you still have on a headland trees that may have fallen down or other obstacles on the edges that you have to swerve around. And it's nice just to have that line of sight to follow on your initial passes in the field. Now we can see the second 9420R in planter following that line left by the marker arm. Once the headlands are complete, these tractors and planters can cover 100 acres between refills on the starter fertilizer tanks and 250 acres before having to refill the commodity tanks with corn seed.
When it's time to make a pit stop to refill the fertilizer and the corn seed, it runs pretty smoothly. A tractor with a loader pulling a nurse tank will pull up to the front of the tractor and hook up a hose to the two 300 gallon saddle tanks mounted on the tractor and it will transfer 600 gallons of that fertilizer onto the tanks. Meanwhile, the tractor will pull the pin on the nurse tank wagon and pull up to the semi truck to grab a seed tote and drive it over to the planter and lift it up over the commodity tank and pour all that corn seed in. And in less than five minutes, the tractor is full of fertilizer and the planter is full of seed and ready to go right back to work.
Now we're up in the cab of one of the John Deere 9420R four-wheel drive tractors. This machine is pulling a Kinsey 4900 planter. The farm utilizes 3700 and 4900 models. And we'll be able to see all the technology that goes into putting corn seed in the ground up here in the cab of the tractor, as well as seeing the auto guidance at work. You'll see that it's making perfect 60 foot wide passes across the field without the operator ever having to put his hands on the steering wheel other than to turn the tractor and planter around to make the next pass. I hope you've enjoyed spending some time out in this Western Kentucky field as corn planting gets underway, watching these big John Deere 9420R four-wheel drive tractors and 24-row Kinsey planters putting the new corn crop in the ground. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there are over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you have any questions or thoughts about what you've been watching in the video, please leave them in the comment section below as I try to respond to every post that is made. If you'd like to get a preview of what is coming up on Big Tractor Power YouTube next, make sure to check out Big Tractor Power Instagram, where I share pictures and short video clips of what is currently being filmed in the field. As always, thank you for watching.